Let's talk about patience and not skipping steps. Hey, what's up everybody? It's MC Stein. And today I was thinking about patience and not skipping necessary steps in order to become uh, successful or uh, what I like to refer to as being sustainable. And now what do I mean about sustainable? When I say sustainable, I mean someone that can uh, live off what they do that they can pay for the operations, they can pay for the, the whatever it takes to do what they do and to comfortably uh, pay and cover those costs and maybe even have a little bit extra on the side uh, for living expenses and, and whatnot. Now, why is it? why do I say sustainable and what does that have to do with patience? Well, I think a lot of people especially in hip-hop, for example, uh, often focus on just skipping steps in order to get to a place where they may even, you know, what they see on TV, what people are doing, or what the lifestyle that some people have on TV or Instagram or the Internet, Twitter, you know, TikTok, whatever. They see uh, people, individuals with money and, and maybe girls and clubs and, you know, drinks and, and you know, the, the outfit, drip, all that stuff. And they think, oh, that's what it means to be successful. And instead of focusing on being sustainable, which is, in a way, it's success. You're building something to the point to where you can live off of it. And it covers your expenses and allows you to do things on the side, maybe. But... Patience and skipping steps are is a, is a very, very important topic because every step along the way, let's say let's say you're 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 climbing a, a set of stairs, a staircase. The first step and the last step are just as important. They cover the same amount of ground. I'm not saying that every step in your music career is going to be the same amount and that it's going to it's going to just infinitely, you know, level up. But the first step and the last step are the same on a staircase. You see? And the step that's right before maybe you sign in a contract or a distribution or getting a placement or getting some type of uh branding or or uh you know, advertising on your on your social page or having someone that's that's backing you or that wants to invest in you or any of these major things whether it's business or music the last step before that happens and you break out is just as essential as that step into the through the door of of being famous and what I think a lot of people don't think about and don't agree with is that, that those first couple steps starting out are just as important as well. Now, why is that? Well, when I'll just take me for example. When I first started making music, I was thinking, well, how come this isn't getting any attention? How come no one's listening to this? How come no one's wanting to buy this product or buy you know, this album or or why don't they want to buy this merchandise? Or Now, if I thought that way, and I did for a while, if I think that way, I'm thinking that I should be so many steps ahead of what I am. And the good news is, for many of us who want to be past where we are, is that everywhere between me and where I want to be is essential to my development. But at the same time, I didn't I don't want people to see my product when I first start out. And that's that's kind of the benefit of of not having fame early, which most people don't. Most people are unheard of for a long time and it takes years and years and years. And that might not actually be a good thing. Because it's important to develop your sound, it's important for me to develop, you know, my skills, my workflow, what I want to accomplish. 
And let's just say I put the very first thing that I made on the internet and it blew up and everybody loved it and and I got accolades and I got money and I got recognition. What would that do for me as developing me as an artist? I would think that I had no room to grow, that everything that I could just throw together would be great. Imagine a team if they always won, if they always if they always somehow let's say, played teams that weren't that good and they didn't challenge them that much and they just always won, they would think that they were great until they played a great team. What I'm trying to say is, is that so much, so much time that, that you and I put into our music and, and all that is, is essential to get us to where we want us to where we want to be. But most importantly, it develops us as we kind of gradually level up. And I know that a lot of us are not financially, you know, independent and meaning that, that we can't support ourselves with our music. And there may be even some of you that aren't independent with a regular job, meaning that you may depend on other people for money or, or the government or whatever. You may, you may not have any money at all and, and, and not be sustainable on your own outside of music and so the the need for uh making money and fame is is very very attractive but but hear me hear me say this it's not it's not in your best interest to think that way it's actually going to hurt you it's going to th- it's going to make you think that you are not doing the right thing or that you're not being, you know, going through the natural progressions of becoming a, a good artist, a great artist. If you think that it's it's zero or a hundred, or you're thinking binary ones and zeros, it's you're gonna you're gonna be discouraged. You're gonna want to quit because just because people on the internet look like they're popping off and they've only been around for a little while, it's just because you have only heard about them for a little while. A lot of these guys have been going for a long time and they have other they have other factors that get them going. They got connections and family members and money and opportunity and connections that labels have. If you're not patient, if you don't realize that it's a slow build, it's a slow climb up the stairs of your career, if you don't if you don't realize that, if you don't think about that, then you will not enjoy the process. If you think it's just failure or success, it's it's a bad way of thinking about it, and it's a way I thought about music for a while. I thought, well, you know, oh, well, now that I finished my album and I posted it, where's all the listeners? So and so sold fifty thousand, you know, units in their first week, and it's just it's just not good to think that way. It's not good to. It, it made me really doubt myself. And when I started, when I actually heard from somebody that was successful say, hey, look, this took me six years. It took me seven years to get traction. And now things are good. I'm sustainable. I'm able to pay for things. I'm able to, to can, you know, quit my job and all that stuff. But patience, patience and going through all the required steps got him to where he is now. And he may not be aware of it, but every step of the way allowed this person to be successful. And I think I think if you stop stop and thought about it and looked back at all the individual years that he's been working, you know, just like you look at an old photo and you think, oh my gosh, I look so different, or so and so looks like they've aged so much. They don't feel that on in the moment. They don't look in the mirror and say, oh, I look older than yesterday. But if you look at a photo from 10 years ago, you'll notice the difference. And it's no different than these artists that make it, and they think that they just blew up overnight, but really, it was a slow build. It was a slow process. If you're feeling discouraged, if you're feeling like, oh, it's not working out, I'm not getting the traction as you know my favorite artist, think about this. Think about what's actually normal and what's, What's typical for someone building anything, whether it's a business or training for a sport or 
writing a novel or making an album, developing any type of career. It takes time. It takes building blocks. Be patient. Focus on the big picture. And that will carry you through the mundane day-to-day steps. Be patient. Realize and understand and convince yourself that every step that you take, every day that you work, is essential to getting you to where you need to be. And you'll get there. I'd love it if you'd comment or subscribe to the channel. Um, but most importantly, you know, I want to hear your comments and your feedback and, and what you think about this. Are you struggling with being impatient? Are you struggling with, with not thinking the, every step is important to where you want to go and, and how you want to get there? We'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.